Hey guys, and welcome to another Ally X video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how Evil West performs. Now what I've decided to do, instead of trying to capture videos going forwards, you know, through my phone and all that business, I'm just uh, going to connect the Ally X straight up to my capture card because that seems to be the best way to actually uh, you know get the best quality out of it so i've been playing evil west and i've been really enjoying it i've been playing it on my xbox series x uh, after work and uh when i've been in bed and just chilling i've been playing it on my ally x this is quite a pretty game and it certainly pushes the ally to its uh limits just a bit but with some fiddling you can get some rather nice uh settings out of it i have been using a app called lossless scaling and this works wonders so if you don't know what lossless scaling is it basically is a paid for app on steam that will up res games from a lower resolution and add frame generation and it will do this for any game and it is literally the secret source for these Z1 handhelds. It doesn't work um, on any game yet, but it works on like 99% of them. Basically, as long as you can um, select the game settings and put the game in either windowed mode or boardless windowed mode, uh, then it will work. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with full screen games possibly yet. Maybe that's something that they're gonna change. Um, these are my settings that I basically have stuck to. And I'm going to show you how to get it to work. So we're going to leave everything basically like so. We have scale factors 1.5. Uh, and this is mode times two. This is the frame generation. And this is the secret source. So let's load up. And I forget with the metrics up. You can't actually... Uh, <laughs> you can't actually click anything up there so let's drag that down so let's fire up evil west now we are running on the max power wattage 30 watts everything taps out eight gigs of ram selected and let's play i'm going to be using my xbox uh, controller and it's got sync data from my xbox because that's the last place i played it i'm pretty sure now let's see if the game's actually gonna launch properly. So notice it launches in a window. This is by design. And what we're gonna do, now you must have your ally set to 1080p, I believe, but don't worry because the lossless scaling is gonna, connect, uh, gonna do the rest for us. So what we're gonna do, now this game is running, we're gonna bring up lossless scaling and we're gonna click scale. When we click scale, we've got five seconds to click on a window and that's going to tell the uh, program what to scale so click that and then we're going to click on evil west and hopefully yep there we go it's already detected it and it's throwing it up now in the uh, left top corner you've got the 60 over 60 uh, which is the frame rate that the game is running at so 60 frames a second is what we're getting now the, ne the, the number next to it is how many um, frames we're getting from the frame generation. Uh, unfortunately, the other metrics aren't that useful to us because the other metric frame rate does not pick up the fact that we're getting generated frames. Now, what's interesting is you really need um, to be running at at least 30 frames a second for this to actually make a difference, but it does make a difference. Anyway, let's go. Oh, it's gonna want me to sign in now, isn't it? So it's kicked us out of the... Okay, so... <clears throat> right, so after about a thousand errors, for some reason, Microsoft account being Microsoft account, we're now back in the game. So I'll show you my settings, what I'm running the system on currently. And we'll go from there. So if we check out the video, so we're in Windows 720p basically, but all the details are on a mixture of Epic, 
medium and high. And that seems to be giving me some pretty good uh, performance, to be honest. I'm going to turn motion blur off. I didn't actually realize that was on. And we're on balanced. So let's apply those changes. If I push the actual correct keyboard input. And let's get back out of here. So yes, apply. And I suppose we're just going to continue and play it for a little bit. So as you can see, we're getting like 45 FPS and we are actually, we are actually on the top performance profile. 30 watts manual, yeah. So we just hide all of that for the minute. And let's get going so you can see how this game runs. Now, this game uh, does sort of have some stutter issues, but they're not that bad. Once you've been playing for a while, they do kind of bleed away. You could probably play this in like 900p as well, and you'd probably get some pretty good results. But, you know, 720p scaled has been working pretty well for me so far. Nothing but those freaks. And it is cool to be able to play this on... Oh, God, hang on. Select flamethrower, please. It is cool to be able to jump between this on the Ally and the Xbox, and it does work pretty bloody well, to be fair. And on the Ally's small screen, this game actually looks fantastic. Now, you've seen those stutters and those pauses. Once you use something once, that does seem to load the um that does seem to load the effect into memory and then you won't get those stutters again it's kind of odd but i suppose normal for what we're used to these days this game is kind of notorious for its frame stutter as it is but we're getting 60 over 60 frame rate at the moment which you know i'm happy with that and this game is pretty as well as you can see all right, so where are we going? This is as far as I've got. So, ooh, sounds like we have enemies this way. Evening, guys. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, you know what? That looks way better, to be honest, without that motion blur. But all the effects are pretty much intact. You'll see a little bit of that frame lag there. But like I say, once an effect has been done once, it will be loaded into memory. And you don't have to worry. This is a new weapon I've got, the crossbow. Actually seems to be pretty cool, to be honest. So this isn't really any commentary on the game, apart from the fact that the game is actually really good fun. This is just to see how the game performs. And of course, we've got all of our menus. There's no stutter in the menus or anything like that. There is a little bit of glitching there. I don't know if that's due to the lossless scaling or what, but it is new. I haven't actually seen that before. I would be interested to see, actually, if we bump the resolution up a little bit, because we are running at the 30 watt power limit. I wonder if we'll even notice that much difference. Let's see if we can bump it up to like 900p. Uh, even on the Series X in performance mode, this game only runs in 1080p 60. So, you know, and this game is very blurry on the Series X as well. It's incredibly blurry. It's an odd, odd game, to be honest, but it's one that is a lot of fun. So we're definitely losing some frames by going up to 900p, but we are getting a much sharper image, to be sure. And with that lossless scaling handling the uh, resolution, I think it's worth it. On this plugged-in mode, anyway, this 30 watt. We could probably play it like this in handheld mode, to be honest. And we wouldn't use lose that many frames just because that lossless scaling is doing uh, lots of the heavy lifting. Yeah, we're getting like 48 to, well, I'll say mid 40s, but it still feels like we're playing at 60 because of that uh, scaling. So what we could do, to be honest, 
Let's drop it down from the 30 watt mode. And let's... 13 watt mode is not going to cut it at all. But we could try 13 watt. Or 17 watt. See what that gives us. Yeah, we're dropping a few more frames, but it, it's still all right. Yeah, we're going down into like the low 40s here. It's going to be interesting to see how it holds up when the action heats up. But, you know, no no complaints. After all, this is a tiny little Z1 handheld. No complaints at all on 17 watts. Ooh, it smells like death. As I said, um, you know, this game is uh, a bit of a pig. If you're trying to play it on 13 watts, you are going to suffer some issues. I'm guessing this is where we can get a Brucey bonus. It's always hard to tell in this game where you're supposed to be going and where the bonus areas are. Especially in this swamp area. Because it's one of those games where if you follow along the path that you're meant to be going, you can't go back. But I think the ally handles this game pretty commendably, to be honest. So it is absolutely perfectly playable. And although the resolution is slightly dipped down, and I do mean slightly dipped down, it is comparable to the Series X. And one second, guys. My missus has just come home. Ooh, got some more deadites to deal with. Yeah, you can see the frame rate is starting to take a bit of a tumble now. <clears throat> on the 17 watts, we are down to like 26 frames, which, well, that ain't going to fly. It's certainly one of those games that does benefit from the extra juice. But you know what? We're plugged in, so. Now, as I said, on the uh, 17 watt, when playing at 720p, you're not going to have any issues at all. I've been playing the whole game pretty much through like that, and it's been pretty good. There we go. Soon dealt with them. We're now down into the uh, 50s. But yeah, so this game is notoriously a bit of a hog to run. <coughs> Unfortunately, being a UE4 game, I suppose that's not too surprising. Also heats the uh, APR up quite a lot. I have seen this game. I have seen this game get us up to about 80 watts, I suppose. We're on 83, uh, 83 uh, degrees, I should say. And if you're not a fan of spiders, probably not a good time to look. There is an arachnophobia mode in this game as well, which will turn them off completely, which is good. It's always nice to see those modes included. Now, not sure. This looks like a bonus way to go. Get some cash. We like our cash. Twist it and cover with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. No teeth marks. Thing is sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Don't worry too much about that. That's story-related stuff, obviously. Which is not the purpose of this video. Now, I'm hoping with the inclusion of uh, FSR 4 on the horizon, we're going to see some nice little upgrades for the Z1 chip. Ooh, my. Might have a boss fight here. Or, you know, maybe not. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep these ally videos down to somewhere in the 10-minute mark. 
just because it's just to get a bit of a gauge of the performance. And as you can see, this game runs reasonably well. Um, obviously, if you do really want to hit that frame rate, you can pair back the settings because we are on really high settings for this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you put it down to mostly medium and low, uh, hitting 60 probably isn't going to be much of a challenge. Battery life for this game as well on 17 watts is really good. I've been able to play it for well over three hours and that wasn't because the battery died it was just because i stopped playing and went and did something else so yeah everything's pretty hunky dory with this one it is just unfortunately a badly optimized game but we can push through it with the ally x so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching if you have any um ideas on what you want to see from these videos uh, how to make them better etc let me know